Tommy Christofferson inside the big Audi. He's uh, alongside pole sitter Kenneth Hansen, who's just moved into position. Making up the rest of the grid, we have Michael Jernberg, Bed Ekstrom with the yellow BMW there, then the clearing car of Pair Eklund just being pulled onto the front row. Should be a fast one, Arthur. It should indeed, and if the track is consistently drying out now, then Kenneth has got a slight advantage over Martin Skanker by going a little bit later in the second runs. But let's see what happens as they go away, and very, very close as they come into that first corner, and it's Tommy Christopherson who's got it. Tommy Christopherson leads, and in second place goes uh, Kenneth Hansen. Third place is Jernberg. Fourth is Eklund. Fifth is Bank Dextrom put the BMW. So can Kenneth Hansen get the Citroen ahead of Tommy Christopherson? These two guys are very good friends, but they are not running in the same team, and I don't think uh, Kenneth is going to get any help from Tommy Christopherson. Tommy looking for his first victory this year, still leading the pack as they come down towards us, and it's Tommy Christopherson from Kenneth Hansen. Well, this is the sort of start that Kenneth didn't want. He wanted to be up there in front, leading this race if he possibly could, and dominating it from the front, but uh, he can't do it at the moment, and I th think he's going to find Tommy moving over the way that uh, Jean-Luc did earlier in the day. So it's still Tommy Christopherson from P Per Eklund way back down the order. Still Tommy Christopherson then from Kenneth Hansen. There is Per Eklund trailing in fourth place. Again, Michael Yernberg going very well, but Peter, this is becoming a race between two cars. Well, it was a, an extraordinarily slow start for Hansen. I mean, the other's got half a car's lead on him with the smoke coming out. Oh, and Hansen's pulled over. Yeah, Hansen's in trouble. Well, that's really going to hand, I think, uh, the second runs to Martin Skanker. So we've got to see what the trouble is with Kenneth Hansen's car. Will it take any further part in the proceedings? So Jernberg comes up now into second place. Per Eklund is fourth, as into, into fourth place. Becky Pardon goes Ekstrom. Uh, per Eklund is third, as Kenneth Hansen has now effectively retired from this race. So Tommy Christopherson really going very, very well. He hasn't been handed the lead. He took it right from the start, and he's out there justifiably in front. And Michael Jernberg still in second place. Eklund in third, as it's a Swedish one, two, three, four. And of course, all of the drivers in this race are from Sweden, showing what a very, very strong country this is for rallycross at the present moment in time. That is a lot of smoke beginning to come from the Tommy Christopherson car, though. He still leads the race. Car looks quick. It's very difficult to say if it sounds healthy. Yeah, I think it does. Jernberg still second. Eklund still third with the impressive Impreza for the Clarion team. But he can't find a way past Michael Jernberg. Tommy Christofsson looking uh, very pleased with himself after having won that second heat here in Finland. It was very good. It's so unfamiliar for me to see the jacket flag first in one heat, so I'm very satisfied, really. How was the time? It was the second time after Martin. He beat me with eight tenths of a second, so... But it isn't bad. I'm very satisfied. So, still chance for front row start in the A5? Yeah, it could be, because I heard that Kenneth is in problem with the gearbox, so... I think it depends if he can get so all things sorted out for the last run, and maybe he will take the, the first grid then, but I will fight for it.